Hello everyone. My name is Sandeep Kuperkar and I on behalf of Ashnik welcome you all to second episode of our Pentaho Hangout series. Last month we discussed on how Pentaho platform helps in your journey of data flow that is right from data preparation analytics to virtualization. So today in this session what we would be sharing in fact what we would be demonstrating is how you can build transformation using Pentaho PDI. And to walk us through this demo, we have with us Ankita Singh, who is our BI and data integration specialist. Over to you, Ankita. Thank you, Sandeep. Hello, guys. In today's session, I'll demonstrate how to build data transformation using Pentaho platform simplifying complex tasks without any code or script, redu hence reducing manual activities. To simplify it with a con context, we'll be using a real-time use case of a beverage customer from a retail segment. For this session, session, let's name it out as ABC Beverages. So ABC Beverages used to get these, get sales and products data from multiple channels, such as their resellers, distributors, their warehouses, so on and so forth. So to start with business analytics, they started creating some kind of basic reports in Excel. These reports were more of a monthly sales reports, yearly, not yearly, monthly, weekly sales reports, uh, region wise, product wise, so on and so forth. So regarding this data, the challenges that they used to face were more of a aggregation of these data from all these multiple you know, channels, refining it, cleansing it, removing all the duplicates. So you can imagine how tedious the job would be that too on a daily basis, because they used to get these, there were cases that they were, they used to, there were cases that they used to get these data in a dirty states, for example, uh, quantity used to be in negative uh, ne negative marks weight used to be in negative marks as you can imagine how tedious the job would be so to simplify this process we worked together with them and introduced pentaho that how pentaho can simplify these challenges so continuing with the transformation let's move over to the gui part of this transformation along with the use case of Pentaho data integration, that is PDI. As you can see, the screen is the Pentaho data integration screen is divided into two parts. One is design mode and the other one is workspace. So the design mode avails you with all the logical components in stepwise and the workspace wherein you can drag simply drag and drop these logical in, uh, steps to build your business logic. Let's start with the transformation. A transformation starts with an input step to bring our raw data. So we will have an input here to read our sales data from an Excel, Excel file, which is MSR data source file. I'll be previewing a few hundred records now, which will put our transformation into a preview mode which will fetch all these 100 records. As you can see, here our raw data where we have quite a lot of field coming from multiple channels. One key column here to focus is sold to CD, which will then be used in our transformation to enrich the data and blend the data from other data source. So now we have our data into Pentaho data integration, our workspace. We have now complete data. We'll sort those records now based on build doc date and billing doc. This sorted data, we will now fetch only the unique records using unique rows by hash set. So this step is responsible to fetch all the unique rows and we will dump all the duplicate records into the into a separate excel file naming naming it as duplicate records 
so now our transformation has complete set of unique records so now we will select only the required fields which will be consumed by our transformation coming back to the transformation so there was a requirement from abc beverages that <coughs> sorry that they had a field in their local currency which was gross net price in their own local currency and they wanted to convert that field into us dollar so to perform that type of calculation we we built a constant here as naming it as rate with value 46.31 to convert gross net price from their local uh, currency to us dollar performing the cal calculations first we are splitting the date into separate fields year quarter month day and day of week further to our calculation we we converted gross price net of discount in us dollar by dividing it with the with our constant rate from their local currency field which was gross price net of discount we had performed some few more calculations here for uh, for instance converting kilogram to ton factor and uh, taking absolute of quantity in days next we will map our values in terms of days months and quarter so for mapping values for days the source field here is day of week ordinary and target field named as day of week which will be used by the transformation from this step onwards so as you can see source values uh, when we were calculating the source value were 1 2 3 4 like that and target value we have mapped as sunday monday tuesday so on and so forth similarly we have done the same for month having source field as month ordinary and target field as month of year and mapping values for quarter q1 q2 q3 q4 keeping source value as quarter ordinary and target value as quarter now let's enrich the data by look up these data we are going to pull in account type and region information by doing a look up at the sold to sold at the sold to cd in a separate file so this file we uh, will preview the same file same file with 100 rows and as we mentioned in our in, in our uh, earlier slide this was our key field sold to cd to bring the desired data into the transformation next we will filter the records based on region Luzon, Mindanao, and Visayas. So, all the data that will, sorry, all the data that will result into true will be moved to the step derive food category, and all the data that will result into false will be moved into dummy do nothing, which means it will no longer be used in the transformation. next we will prepare the data for staging here we will select what fields we need to push into the database and removing all the unnecessary fields which we do not require any more from the transformation for example we calculate we uh, built our constant rate with value 46.31 which will no longer be used in the transformation so we have removed that using remove tab of select slash rename values step so coming to the transformation here we are staging our data into two sets one is stage data for analysis and the another one is copying that stage data into our excel file so starting with staging data for analysis and starting with postgres we need to establish the jdbc connection first wherein you can give your connection name 
connection type type you can select and given the access as native jdbc or you you may choose odbc or jndi setting setting up all the uh, host name database name port number username password and you can test the connection in this case it is a success moving forward we will copy the same data in our excel file named as staged records staged records so this data will then later be used for analytical purpose for getting some kind of uh, monthly sales report and some geo mapping reports dashboards etc which will be covered in our next session so we will be building a model on top of this data and will publish it, publish it onto our business analytics server so that these this data will work as a data source and we can build our analyzers we can build our interactive reports dashboards on top of that let's move to the stage data that has uh, let's first run this transformation as you can see it will result into an execution result tab wherein you can see a tab step matrix here you get to see all the steps that you have used in your transformation along with the read written input output such kind of measures for example you have taken an input read msr file wherein you have fetched data source from your excel excel input so until now it has been able to write 48000 something it is being moving forward so these these much amount of data it has been written into the transformation so maintain duplicate records was to collect all the duplicate records so it is measured into the output field until now it has pushed only 107 fields into the excel sheet you can see the status of those steps whether it has been finished or with errors the step find unique records by criteria the selected one has rejected 212 steps into our duplicate records you can see time how much seconds has been consumed by which step so our transformation has successfully run now let's see the duplicate records first here you can see these are the duplicate records from our source data coming to the staged record this was the copy we made into our transformation into excel file one was in postgres one was in excel sheet coming over to postgres we will limit our select query to only 10 rows sorry as you can see here we had this column build doc date which we have performed calculations upon to fetch year quarter month day day of week we had made a look up based on product food, product food data source and extracted these these data account type region and region 2 which is now in our staging area coming to the calculated measure where in the quantity were in, in negative terms we had performed some calculations on it so the data is clean now the calculated measure that our customer was concerned about they wanted to convert their local currency into us dollar as you can see gross price net of discount us dollar so now we are avail with the data we can now build model on that and use that use as data source onto our business analytics server with 
and we'll build some reports on top of that so let's summarize this session how we build this transformation we first extracted this data we performed some sorting on that based on few columns we found we fetched only the unique records and pushed all the duplicate records in our duplicate records excel sheet and consumed all the unique records by our next step in the transformation and selected only the required fields as per our customer requirement they wanted to convert their local currency into us dollar we performed a calculation by building a constant as rate keeping a value as 46.31 we built some calculations for the transformation we set measures for those keeping field name and replacing the values from those fields we mapped value for quarter month month and day and later on we blended that data and enriched that data based on a lookup of key column that was sold to cd we filtered the rows for the region luzon visayas and mindanao all the data that were resulting into false will no, no longer be consumed by the transformation and the true ones will go to the next step wherein we have derived all the food category last but not the least we have prepared our data for staging area into two sets one is one in postgres which are which is our database and second is we have made a copy of the same in our excel sheet I hope you enjoyed our session. Let's let's now take some questions. Okay, I see first question here. What is the difference between jobs and transformations? Okay, so for those who does not know what PDI is, So PDI has two components a job and a transformation. So transformations are about moving and transforming data from source to target. Whereas jobs are more about high level flow control. For for example executing these transformations, sending emails on the failures, transferring files via FTP, so on and so forth. so i i see another question here are these steps running parallelly yes these steps are running parallelly in a transformation as you can see let me show you as you can see reading from these two data sources were happening in parallel in the transformation it was happening at the same time this is this is another key difference between a job and a transformation that all the steps in a transformation execute in parallel but the steps in a job execute in an in a sequence in a particular order which we define okay we do not have any more question now if if you have any queries you can always write us on success@ashnik.com or visit our site ashnik.com hope you enjoyed our session see you guys on our next hangout thank you